In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could create a basic particle texture to use in a game engine such as Unity or Unreal using the GIMP program. Now to begin, you're going to need to create a new file. So I'm going to go to File and New. And right now, notice that the default is 1920 by 1080 pixels. I'm actually going to take this down a little bit. I'm going to do 500 by 500. Notice that you do have some advanced options, and really for the resolution, since we're dealing in a screen environment, for file size sake, I'm actually going to take this down to 72 by 72. Lastly, the only other thing I'm going to change here is under the background color for fill width, I'm going to set this to a transparency. You don't need to, but I'm going to go ahead and call this particle texture. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to create my file. Now, as a reminder, the checkerboard means that there is no background present, so it's see-through. I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new layer coming down to the lower right-hand corner and then clicking on what looks like a little page with a plus symbol. And I'm going to change this to symbol, actually particle elements. When you're working in GIMP, you have several options as far as how you can go about creating different types of elements to be used in a particle system. The primary elements that you can work with, though, include the path tool and also, as well, the selection tools. To give you an example, if I click and hold and choose the rectangle, and I go ahead and make a rectangle here in the middle, it's a little hard to see here, but I do have a corner option as far as coming in and making edits before I actually fill the object. Once I have the shape how I like it, I can come back up to the toolbox and use the bucket fill tool. Currently, I can also choose as far as a different foreground color, and then I can just come in and fill the element. When you're done working with that specific element, you're going to come up to the select drop down menu and choose none. Or, if you want to get comfortable with keyboard shortcuts, Control shift a This is the same that if you were going to work with the Ellipse Selection tool. You would use the same process. Now, as far as the Path tool, though, some things that I'm going to preset. Number one is I'm going to go ahead and choose Polygonal here, as far as the overall layout. This may be unchecked whenever you come in and click on this option here. So make sure that it's checked because I'm going to create a selection from my path. So I'm going to go ahead here, and when you're working with the Polygon tool, it makes straight connections for you. So I can go ahead, I can kind of make almost a zigzag shape. And when I'm ready to close out the shape, I'm going to press the Control key, and that'll connect my overall design here. Now I can go ahead and choose Selection from Path. And what you should see happen is you should now see marching ants appear along the path that you created. This now enables me to go back to the Bucket Fill tool, and I could choose another color and come in and fill the shape. Just remember to come in and deselect when you're done. When you're ready to save and actually export, you're going to have two steps. The first step is going to go under File, and you're going to want to choose to Export. Now, by default, it is going to let you choose or be at the PNG or PNG file type. This is a solid choice as far as transparencies are concerned. However, if at any point you need a material to be a different file extension, you have an option called Select File Type that if you click on the little plus symbol, it will bring up all of the different options as far as file types that GIMP can save as. I'm going to minimize this for right now. I'd like to use the ping. So I'm going to call this Particle Texture GIMP. The only other advice I would give you is if you already have a project in play, as far as Unity or Unreal, where you want to actually save this element to be used, I would navigate to that project. So for this demonstration, if I use Unity Projects, for instance, and I go into the Particle Systems project, 
I want to make sure that I save this into my assets folder and export it out. You're going to get some questions as far as the different interlacing, gamma, etc. For this level of design, the defaults are fine. So I can go ahead and I will say export. One other item that I strongly encourage you to do though, is to do one more save, and that's just a file save as. At any point in time, whenever I'm creating my own content, you always wanna save the original file that you can come back and edit. It's up to you where you save this. However, in my case, I like to actually save these while I'm working on a project. I like to actually save these with the project. So here you can see the dot, XCF file for GIMP, and I'm, I've gone back into my Unity projects into that particle system project, and I'm going to save it in there. That way, if I move the project file to any other computers, my original files are going to go with it, and they're easy to find and locate. And that's the basics of working with GIMP to create a particle system graphic.